So I friend this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video as I have provided you the information in my previous video also about the third attempt chances so now supreme court is also in the action now and you also know one supreme court will be there they will provide the decision in favor of a strand itself so as as per as per the current information they have allowed 15 strand to take the take the exam again but i don't think only 15 strand or 200 1000 strand is there there are lots of strand who face the problem personally i know lots of strand who face the problem that is technical glitch in the phase 2 examination and obviously in phase 1 many strand have got the low percentile even after after uh, scoring more marks and it is it is obvious that within 10 days how a strand will able to rectify their mistake i have done the poll also sideways you can check the result of that that is most of the strand we are alike uh, they haven't got any type of improve improvement in the marks so what is the use of multiple examination from when nt are taking the exams and it is multiple exam from 2019 the objective is that average student should get the multiple chance because good student can score in one attempt also. But average student should get the multiple chance so that they can use their 100% potential and they will be able to get the best percentile. Everyone can't get 99-98 percentile but the deserving candidates should get that and for that only there is multiple attempt. And uh, within 10 days, I don't think that the objective is getting fulfilled because last time also this was this thing was there that is uh, in, uh, between Feb and March attempt 2021, but there was multiple attempt, that is four attempt. So this year there is not four attempt, but there should be an extra attempt, that is third attempt. If there can be four attempt in one year, why there can't be uh, three attempt one year? Because the last year situation was more worse. If you compare with COVID, pro COVID prospective, now COVID is not so much there, but last year there was lots of COVID, uh, COVID situation. So I think last year if 4 attempt can be done for J mains examination then why not 3 attempt this year because admission can be done up to November and December and all those students who are thinking they have got good result and now if there will be 3rd attempt then they will get the bad rank I don't think so because the number of students are fixed because you also can think only 6,29,778 students have registered for phase 2 and there will be only 5,60 or 70,000 who appeared in the examination. So only 8 like a student are unique. So if there will be third attempt, then also I don't think it will change lots because 10 or 15,000 student will increase. So I don't think there is a problem. So I will request you please try to support all those students who are not happy with J means as of now. There should be another attempt at least 20 to 25 days gap should be there so that they will able to perform with their 100% potential and as the Supreme Court will now uh, take part in this so I think there will be third attempt of examination and it can be done and it is also about the marketing because NT will also generate more money by taking more registration so I think there should be a third attempt but let's see if there will be an official update I will try to inform you as soon as possible but as of now the chances is very high of third attempt because almost every student are not happy with the NTA because of the two attempt and there, there are lots of lots of problem technical glitch and the result uh, that is in, uh, incorrect result and also only 10 days gap between first and second attempt how a student will able to get the good result within 10 days very few a student have improved their marks so uh, this was so this was about the third attempt chances i have discussed in detail so hope you get this information very useful for you so please try to subscribe this channel and if you want to check the marks versus percentile for all the sip please try to check the i button as well as the description box you will get the link for that and you will able to check marks for the percentile for all 10 sip and also the minimum marks for J advanced examination. So thanks again for watching this video. Please try to subscribe.